Welcome back to the channel everybody, my name's Ricky, welcome to ETFW, and tonight we've got a pretty awesome episode lined up, actually as a matter of fact we've got a pretty awesome little mini series lined up. Tonight myself and Brendan have been lucky enough to be invited down to the Parramatta Jail to spend the night investigating, exploring and, and filming checking out this awesome jail one of sydney's oldest jails as a matter of fact this place has seen it all Parramatta jail also has a huge history when it comes to the paranormal anyone sydney side or anyone you know even around australia who is into the paranormal has definitely come across Parramatta jail when researching haunted places online this place has got a really really rich history we're both super excited to get down and check it out i'm just outside brendan's now waiting for him to come down we're going to make our way over to the Parramatta jail we have been blessed by the gods today the sky has cleared up the last couple days in sydney have been absolutely house it's been pissing down rain it's been like a freaking monsoon it's been terrible but today you know what the gods have looked down on us they've said you know what boys we want to give you a dope day we want to give you a sunny day to film do all your drone shots everything like that so you know what we're going to make the most of it like i said we're heading down to Parramatta jail now we're going to meet with the guide we're going to meet with everyone there we're going to meet with the crew and we're going to get into it let's see i think it's going to be an awesome episode we're going to split this off into a little mini series as i said probably three or four parts we're not 100 percent sure yet so again if you guys enjoy the content you enjoy the video make sure to leave it a like comment down below let us know your thoughts and again if you're new to the channel consider hitting the big red button that looks like this subscribe to the channel subscribe to etfw and with that said guys we'll catch you in a minute peace guys so we are currently like a minute away one minute. <laughs> we're, we're proper freaking out i don't know why we, we both don't know why oh sh he's the, he's, there's the there's look the look how walls. big it is what i'll turn around so you guys can see what oh the hell oh my god how do people ever get out of that what yo this is proper okay like i'm proper excited now there's the gates probably probably the one alrighty guys so as you guys just saw we're outside the Parramatta jail we're gonna go find something to eat get some drinks get some supplies gear up we're gonna head in this is gonna be a freaking crazy video it's gonna be a crazy night we need, a, we, sure we need to make some shanks and we need to buy some soap yeah so, <laughs> no, but no, seriously, guys, we're super excited. We're super pumped to get into this place. We've got the prison to ourselves tonight. We're, you know, lucky enough to be invited down and, you know, have the place, you know, to be able to film and do all our stuff. So, you know, again, thank you to Pete, who you guys are going to meet shortly. But yeah, let's go get something to eat, get some supplies, snacks, soap, make some shanks, <laughs> maybe some Vaseline, <laughs> maybe some Vaseline. Alrighty, guys, we'll pick it back up in a little bit once we're inside. All right, let's see you soon.
out of jail, considered one of Australia's more important historical sites, constructed between 1835 and 1842. It was until its closure in 2011, Australia's oldest serving jail. Currently, this walled sandstone and slate structure now sits empty and its cold concrete cells, instead of prisoners, now holds the stories, memories and emotions from those unfortunate souls who served over its 170 plus years of operation. There is no doubt about it, prison is no place to spend your one and only life. However, for some, it is the only life they know. Parramatta Jail saw inmates enter through its iron gates from the 15th of January, 1842. However, what some do not know is that the jail dates back further, much further in fact. The first jail in Parramatta was built on the north bank of the river near the south boundary of the present Prince Alfred Park and was constructed of timber thatch. This jail was built in 1795 and was a 100 foot long walled structure enclosed within a high paling fence. In 1799 it was damaged in a fire. Both the building and several convicts were badly burned and at least one died later due to their injuries. The second jail existed from 1802 until 1841. The work on this jail began in August of 1802. The second jail was a rough shot construction built from locally quarried sandstone and was structurally and functionally inadequate. Unfortunately, this jail deteriorated rapidly and required frequent repair and reconstruction. It is suspected that the convict workmen did their best to erect a place of confinement that would not survive for long. The jail, however, was completed in 1804, although would only survive some 30 years of operation. 21st December 1807, a fire raged within the newly constructed jail, damaging it severely. And after many years of falling walls and constant repairs, a new jail was proposed to be built. Planning began for the construction, which would begin in 1835. Parramatta's third jail was built at North Parramatta. Plans were drawn up for a new jail in 1835, and in 1836, work commenced on a 250 foot square perimeter wall at its present location on the corner of Clifford and Dunlop Street. The jail itself was built a bit at a time over many years. The length of time that it took to build the jail caused many problems with leaking roofs, unplastered walls, and inadequate cesspools, as just some of the problems still being faced in the 1850s. The jail was still not finished at its planned date. However, the old jail was in such bad condition that it was necessary to transfer the convicts to the new jail, and this was done on the 15th of January, 1842. Prisoners were escorted by the military to their new accommodations. Parramatta Jail was designed to house habitual criminals and those with long-serving sentences who could be trained for productive work. By 1929, it had become the state's principal manufacturing jail, producing boots, brushes, tinware, clothes, joinery, and foodstuffs. It also became a center for rehabilitation, and the single cells were once more converted to multiple cells. It was closed from 1918 to 1922 and briefly used as a mental health facility. Various unsympathetic architectural additions were made to the 19th century structure in the 1940s. In the 1970s, the Parramatta Linen Service, a large auditorium, and an extension in the 1846 gatehouse were built. In the 1990s, reception, administration, and visitors buildings were designed to much better match the original sandstone structure. The prison was briefly disestablished in July 1997, however, this did not last for long. Parramatta Jail was widely known as a cruel and brutal place. Some of Australia's most rough and violent inmates served time here, and things such as beatings, abuse, and sexual assault were common practice within its walls. One inmate states, you come in here and you are judged, you are looked at as an object, you will be tested, and when you are, you have three options. You either make a complaint to the prison guards and be locked in protective cells for 17 hours a day. You either take what is about to come to you, but if you do, you will become a target to the masses, or you either be prepared to stab, beat, or kill your attacker. It is safe to say that inside the walls of Parramatta Jail, only the toughest survived. In 2008, the Parramatta Correctional Centre was classified as a medium security short-term remand centre, transient centre, and metropolitan periodic detention centre. It housed both unsentenced and sentenced male inmates, including drug court sanctions and male periodic detainees. In December 2011, the Parramatta Correctional Centre was closed.
Since 2011, tours have rented the prison, showing the public what life behind bars looked like. However, those who have visited, and even those who have served time within its sandstone walls have told stories. Stories not of the living, but of the dead and the supernatural. Would you be surprised that Parramatta Jail is believed to be haunted? Murder, sexual assault, abuse, and the massive amounts of negative energy left behind are sure to paint a perfect backdrop for the spirit world. Rumors range from phantom footsteps, sounds of guards patrolling the cells, unusual EVPs, temperature drops, and even some claiming to have seen full body apparitions. Hearing the stories for ourselves, we knew we had to investigate. We were lucky enough to be invited down to the Parramatta Jail from APPI Ghost Tours to spend the night exploring and investigating. Should anyone wish to visit the jail for themselves, the links to APPI Ghost Tours will be placed in the description below. This is ETFW. Follow us as we explore the Parramatta Jail. Six wing, 1898. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh. a triple level or something. Stepping on that. What the hell's with this line? I've seen them in a few of them. Maybe like a clothesline or something like that. I don't know, it is a gnarly though. Look at the. Oh. This does not look comfortable, this bed. <laughs> hey, there's like a courtyard over there, dude. It's a prison yard over there. It's action shot guys. See behind the scenes. I'm standing at the door and this is all the space I have to work with me. It's like, I don't know, like a meter. I want to say like maybe a meter and a half to two meters wide and like three to four meters deep. And some of these obviously have bunks in them. So it means you're sharing that space with just one other person. <sighs> Mental, man. I don't know how you'd keep your sanity. It's crazy. We're gonna head down and probably head to one of the other locations, so. Pick her back up with you down there. Alright guys, that's six wing, five wing there, four wing. So we are getting a guide around here. We're getting guided around here by uh, APPI Ghost Hunters. Very, very nice of them to let us come here and film. Um, we are currently heading over to the chapel. I have seen photos of it, but I've never been inside it, obviously. Is it just push? Just push. Oh, that's 
cool place. Yeah, this is cool. All right guys, so we're just leaving the chapel now. We're just heading across to the clinic, which is kind of next door. Close it. This place is seriously huge. Five acres. Five acres. It's enormous, this place. Uh, one, two, and three wing. Oldest one. One. So this is the oldest wing. This is where the women and children oh. were held upstairs. Okay. These are beautiful. You guys coming with me? Seriously creepy. So we're looking here. I feel like this is a bit bigger. Like the last ones were like, I want to say like one and a half, two meters wide and like three, four deep. This is kind of like three by three and a half, three by four or something, I don't know. All right guys, so we're gonna keep this moving head downstairs and move on to the next place. So pick it up with you then. All right, no windows, one door, no beds. This is how dark it is in here. If you do see anything, it's just the light from the camera screen. Go insane. Damn. Oh. Alrighty guys, so as you just saw, we gave you a little bit of a tour of the grounds, showed you all around the wards, you know, all around the cell blocks, everything like that. Yeah. Massive place, absolutely crazy place. There's so much here, there's so much history. You could literally spend an entire night in here and barely scratch the surface. But I think with that said, we're gonna close this episode off here. We're gonna head over to some of the other buildings now and begin some investigations. But for you guys, you're gonna see that next week. If you guys enjoyed this episode, you liked what you see, make sure to go down, drop a comment below. Let us know what you guys thought of this episode. Next episodes, we're jumping into the investigation investigations yeah. gonna see all the paranormal stuff this place has to offer but yeah tonight man what a night so far it's, it's been crazy awesome anyways guys with that said we're gonna leave you to it but i guess we'll catch you all next week see you then peace if there are any spirits here with me tonight already I'm reaching out to any spirits that are here with me right now. Any spirits that would like to communicate with me. If you are here with me right now, are you able to swing the pendulum that is in my hand to the word yes? No recollection of what year it was or... And that was bright, why the hell did that light just... That just went completely out. Like, yeah. that's never happened.